You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It's futile uh, to write about what's happening, to, you know, write about the wars and the police state, the lack of our civil liberties, as long as um, the event that set those in motion itself can't be analyzed. And, of course, we talk about 9-11. You know, if you just look, anybody that looks at the World Trade Center towers for 15 seconds, you realize these are not buildings falling down. There's no sign of a building falling down. They're blowing up. And anybody that looks at it for 15 seconds should be able to see the difference between a building that's falling down and one's blowing up. And so Americans can't even use their own eyes. Do you see what I'm saying? And then we have this fantasy figure, Sheikh Mohammed. Now, you know, they said that uh, bin Laden was responsible, but now it's this Sheikh Mohammed, the guy they waterboarded 183 times until he finally confessed to being the mastermind of 9-11. Now, if you look at this, it makes no sense, because uh, look at this guy's feet, Sheikh Mohammed, outwitted all 16 U.S. intelligence agencies, along with those of all U.S. allies, including Israel's Mossad. So no intelligence service on, on Earth, nor all of them combined, was a match for Sheikh Mohammed. He outwitted the National Security Council, Dick Cheney, the Pentagon, State Department, NORAD, U.S. Air Force, air traffic control. He caused airport security to fail four times in one morning. He caused the state-of-the-art air defenses of the Pentagon to fail. <clears throat> he, he had uh, people who couldn't fly planes pulling off fantastic flight feats. He was able to do all of these things. Now, he, he is more of a superhero than V in that movie, V for Vendetta. Nobody can do things like that. Nobody could pull off an operation like that. That's just fantasy beyond fantasy, and yet people have fallen for this. So it dawned on me that sites of which I was sort of a favorite uh, columnist, like uh, antiwar.com, a counterpunch, uh, where I had a big following, that neither site, for example, would let me uh, even present facts or even present the evidence that the uh, scientists who uh, claim to have found nanothermite in the residue of the World Trade Center towers, uh, they wouldn't even let me report that there were a thousand architects and engineers who had sent a petition to Congress demanding an investigation. And so it made me realize that uh, here were sites totally opposed to the war, totally opposed to the police state and the loss of our civil liberties, uh, sites who don't believe a word the government says about anything except 9-11. I got to thinking, well, what is the point of this? How can you oppose the government when you give it the grounds on which it's acting? So you realize that you really just can't help people they can't think, they can't see their own eyes. Now, what also happens when you try to raise these questions with people, even intelligent people? They say, oh, our government would never kill its own citizens. Oh, yeah? What about Waco? The Branch Davidians, there were 100 men, women, and children that the government murdered. No one was ever held accountable. At 12.10 p.m., the FLIR videotape shows at least two automatic weapons being fired into the back of the burning dining room, the only undamaged exit from the building. And what we have is we have men firing automatic weapons, and they're firing into the burning building. I cannot remember something more sickening that I had to do to witness this. According to the Justice Department report, at least 15 people were found shot to death at this location. But they say, oh, well, uh, it, it was all the branch civilian's fault. Uh, but the government would never have a plot like 9-11. Uh, well, what about Operation Northwoods? 
anybody can read about this. This was a a plan designed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Lyman Lemitzer. Here was an official plot by the United States military and various black op groups in the government uh, to gun down American citizens in Miami, in Washington, D.C., to fabricate crashed airliners, and to blame it all on Castro so they could invade Cuba. This is a known thing that that uh, we were prepared to do. And this was, what, 40, 50 years ago when we allegedly were still somewhat of a, of a freedom and democracy. And they were willing to do that then. And Kennedy, of course, uh, fired Lemaitre. And a lot of people believe that's why Kennedy was assassinated. And then we have this very curious Murrah office building bombing, the Oklahoma City bombing that was pinned on McVeigh with his truck fertilizer bomb. Well, General Parton, who was head of Air Force munitions, spent his life developing, testing explosives for the Air Force. He put out a very thick report in which he said that that, that building was blown up from the inside out. And it most certainly was not blown up by a truck bomb. The truck bomb of that sort, 60 feet away, couldn't possibly have done the damage and, and produced the, uh, the outward explosions and the structural damage to those reinforced concrete columns. In fact, what we were told at the scene a few minutes ago was that, in fact, two different explosive devices were found in addition to the one that went off. So a total of three. A total saying. of three. Now confirmed uh, through federal authorities that a second bomb has been found inside that federal building in Oklahoma City. So uh, he was a real expert who put it on the line. It had no impact whatsoever. Uh, he sent it to uh, the Congress. He tried to talk to them. It was just all deep-sixed. So what you have is a situation where it's impossible for experts even to bring facts, not just to the public's attention, but to the attention of people in government who are supposed to be overseeing the government, such as the various congressional committees. So when you have that type of a, of a situation, you know what? What uh, has become of truth? It's simply disappeared. You can't it, it hasn't, it can't even get into the arena where various material interests operate. The people fall for anything. The most absurd explanations and fantasies they accept as if they were actually real, and yet they're completely deaf to experts, to facts, and so you can't help them. So I came to the conclusion that since 9-11, since it cannot be discussed, and since people uh, believe that they were attacked by Muslims and that we have to have police state powers to protect us from more attacks, that really nothing can be done. And so I said it's futile and, and, and pointless. And then about that time I saw uh, the latest poll that said 59% uh, of the American people, that's three-fifths of the population, uh, are ready to go to war with Iran. The people are just so gullible. Uh, the government represents the powerful moneyed interest groups that uh, finance the political campaigns. As I said in my sign-off article, money has replaced everything. And uh, people will do anything for money, lie, cheat, steal. What we need to stand up and say is not only did they attack the USS Liberty, they did 9-11. Mm -hmm. They did it. That it is 100% certain that 9-11 was a Mossad operation, mm -hmm. period.